Okay, so in this part of the video, uh, I'm going to first do a quick review of what we've just accomplished. I'm going to scroll right down here and go back to the specific post page access restrictions. And we can see that we've configured these three post IDs as being special. They're going to be protected independently from membership level access. So no one in the public will be able to access these three posts. And none of my members will be able to access these three posts. The only way these three posts can be accessed is if someone purchases specific post page access to these posts, one or all of them, depending on how I configure my PayPal buttons. And that's what we're going to cover next. Okay, so I'm going to just come right back up here. I'm going to go over to PayPal buttons in my S2 member menu. And when I come here, I'll scroll down near the bottom. And I'm going to go to the specific post page buy now button generator and expand that down. And I can see now I've configured those three posts so you see they're populated here in this, in this options panel. So now I can package together a set of posts or even just one post that I'm going to sell access to. Now the first thing you need to decide when you're going to set up one of these buttons is which post you're going to use as the leading post or the leading page of the ones that you've configured. So again, in this menu, those three posts are the only ones that appear here because those are the only three that I've protected in this special way. Okay, in this case, I'm going to choose specific post number one as my leading post. Okay, what that means is that after the customer checks out, this is the post that they're going to be redirected to after checkout. So you can think of this as a thank you page. Okay, now if you're only selling access to one page, then you would also you would thank the customer and on this on this same page you would provide links or whatever to to whatever it is that you've sold them access to and you can sell access to anything whether it's a product or a service anything that you can deliver through a post or page that you create inside WordPress okay now in some cases a lot of webmasters decide that this is going to be dedicated as a thank you page the leading page and on this page they're going to provide links to some additional pages where what they've sold access to will be provided, but it'll be on a separate page. So in this case, I would choose a specific post of one, and then I may choose to package some additional. I may choose to package number two and three. So now I'm selling access to all three. Now I don't need to select post number one here again. Uh, if you did, that's fine. Those two members will work that out, but I don't need to because I've already selected it up here. So when a customer checks out, they're going to be redirected to specific post number one, and then they will also have access to these two additional posts. Now I will need to put links to these two additional posts on this page so that the customer can reach these two additional pages. But what you're configuring here is the authorization that S2 member handles so that whenever a customer gets to these two pages, they won't be denied access, they'll be granted access because you've included them in the package. Okay? So now once we've established the, the posts and pages that we're going to include in our package, we just need to decide how much we're going to charge for this, this one transaction that's going in as a buy now for a specific post page or a set of specific post pages in this case. And the links are going to be valid for three days by default. Now after three days, if the customer was to return to their links for any reason, then the system would just come back with a white screen that would have a message that says your link has expired. Please contact support for assistance. Now you can change this. You can go as little as two hours, or you can go all the way up to five years if you prefer. And just to point out that even if you went to five years, you don't have to worry about these links being spread across the internet, because these links are secured with the general options panel for S2 member under the IP restrictions. So S2 member will, will monitor the number of IP addresses that are accessing the, the authorization that these links provide. And if it breaches security that you've configured in your general options panel, uh, S2 member will handle that all by itself. So you, you, can, you can literally provide up to five years of access without having to worry about the link being spread across the Internet and everyone getting free access to whatever it is that you've provided here. Okay, so that's, that's important information to be aware of. Okay, here in the description field, you just type verbatim what it is that these three posts collectively are providing access to. So that way, because this is going to appear on the checkout form. So here you would just type in the description and maybe even some pricing details about what it is they're paying for. And then this is the checkout page style. This is optional. I'm just going to leave this at the default PayPal for now. But these can be created inside your PayPal account. And it allows you to customize the checkout forms at PayPal. And then you just type in the associated 
uh, page style name that you created in PayPal here. Okay, this is the currency, which we're just defaults to US dollars. And I click generate button code. Okay, it says your button has been generated. Please copy and paste the short code format. This is the short code format into your membership options page. Now, if you're not offering membership, then you probably won't do that. You'll probably put the button somewhere else. You can put this button anywhere you like, wherever it's most appropriate on your site, depending on how your site is structured. Maybe depending on the theme that you're using. Okay, this is just a suggestion because the membership options page is sort of a focal point. So, because this is the page where everyone is redirected to, should they should they attempt to access an area of your site that, that if they're denied access to, they'll be redirected here instead. So, it's a good place to put your PayPal buttons and all of the all the information that they need in order to to purchase access could be centralized here. But it doesn't have to be. You can put these buttons anywhere you like. I'm just going to click OK here. And I'm not going to go through the process right now in this tutorial of putting the button in a page. Instead, I'm just going to test the button out as it exists right here as a demonstration. Okay, and as you can see, this takes me to the PayPal checkout system where that description that I, that I normally would have typed in would appear here along with the total for the purchase. And the customer does not need to have a PayPal account. You see it says don't have a PayPal account. I can use my credit card or bank account if I choose to because this is considered a buy now transaction. Okay, So this is great. When the customer finishes checkout, they will automatically be redirected immediately after checkout to the leading post page, which was post number one. And they'll automatically be granted access. And S2 member will also send them a confirmation email that has access link, an access link to the leading post page in that email. And you can customize that as well inside S2 member under your PayPal options. There's a, there's a subsection there where you can customize that email so that if the customer got lost in, in the middle of the transaction or they forgot where the link was and they needed to go back, they have an email with that information. Now just to expand this down while we're here, you can see the way S2 member formulates the item number. It starts with SP and then it lists the the post and page IDs and then this last this last number indicates the time and this is in programming time indicating seconds that the links were going to be valid for and this estimate will read this information when the transaction comes back into it uh, through the IPN integration that you did uh, with S2 members PayPal options okay and that's as simple as that and you can create an unlimited number I'm going to switch tabs back there you can create any number of these so, for example, I might have this one that sells at 89, and then I might have another one that only includes specific post page. Well, for example, I might include one that only produces a button that, that grants access to this one post. And in that case, I might only charge 1995. So I would change my description. I could leave this the same and just change the price and the, the actual post that's being sold. You can create any combination of these that you like. So you might have four or five different options available or if you have a long list of products that you're selling you can create a specific post for each product and then come here and generate a button for each of those products now if you have a developer that's doing this for you it, you can also save yourself a time if you take a look at this short code okay I'm gonna come over here to a new page so I can paste this into if I paste this in you'll see that a lot of these attributes can be changed right here in the short code. So a lot of times a developer, after they generated two or three of these, these short codes for the PayPal buttons, they'll become familiar with how they're formulated. And so these short codes could be, you know, just changed out on the fly where it saves you some time. So if you have a lot of products, you might want to take a look at doing it that way. Okay, and that's that is the specific post page access for S2 member.